Hello everybody and welcome back to Course Party 2 Dead Patients. So we got both endings in chapter one and now we're moving on to the extra chapter. Which surprisingly you play a Satoshi in this chapter. And for those who don't know who Satoshi is, he was the uh, main, well, one of the main characters in the first Corpse Party game. Really sure you want to go. Yeah, we can't just sit and hide in here forever, can we? If we're going to get out of here, we need a better idea of what's going on. Don't worry about me, though, okay? I'll be back. Just stay in here and wait for me, okay, Mom? All right. Mom. Hmm? Never mind. It's nothing. Just please take care. I will. You take care too. Though, alright? Promise me you'll come back safe and sound. I will. I promise. Be back in no time at all. Man, tough luck for Satoshi. He got past... All of the shite that happened in Heavenly Host, only to end up here. And I'm pretty sure I actually looked into it. Corpse Party 1 takes place six years after the events. Well, Corpse Party 2 takes place six years after the events of Corpse Party 1. So yeah, Satoshi's like a young adult at this point in time. Doors locked up tight. I don't sense another living soul anywhere nearby. Are mom and I alone up here? No, I shouldn't jump to conclusions like that. Those armed men could be anywhere. As long as they're around, I need to keep on high alert. That sounded like footsteps. Damn it. It has to be them. Yawn. Hey, we're on a mission here. No slacking off. Come on, it was just a little yawn. Besides, we might technically still be on the job. But most of the patients have been taken in already. We've got this one in the bag. Doesn't matter, a job's a job. And we've got to take our, take ours seriously. Besides, we still haven't even captured all the personnel on this list. Never mind the patients. As long as even one target remains, it's our duty to capture them. Those were our orders. Damn it. Don't know why I even signed up for this. Come on, let's get moving. What do I do? I don't know. Sure is quiet. Of course it is. How many times have we patrolled this area now? There's no one here. Alpha to any available team. Respond, please. This is Delta. What is it? Understood. We'll be right there. The patient's been sighted on the first floor. They need backup. We've got to get over there. Roger that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're not on the first floor. We're on the second. So it might be E Town or Gang. That door's locked. There's a dude right there. There's more dudes. This door open? Nope. Oh, for a minute, I thought he lost me. Damn it. And 
grab the guards. That way is blocked off, so... You go around. Yeah, first we should check the MRI room. Damn it. I need to find somewhere to hide if I don't. Where even am I? Anyway, this doesn't look like a hospital ward anymore. There's a sign on the door which reads MRI room. The door is locked, however. The door is locked, yet it's clearly marked with the words emergency exit. An emergency exit? Can it really be that easy? Is getting this door open all I have to do to get out of here? There's black liquid everywhere, and the smell. What is this? Whatever it is, it's definitely not something that should be left on the floor in a hospital. What in the world is going on here? Oh, there's an item on the floor back there. The door is locked up tight. MRI room. The MRI room perpetually generates a strong magnetic field, so please be sure to remove all metallic items before entering, including watches, hairpins, necklaces, etc. Any magnetic cards, such as debit or credit cards, should also be left behind before entering, as the field within could render them unusable. When metallic objects such as tools or hand trucks must be brought into the room for work purposes, permission must be sought in advance, and a technician must always be present. I didn't know you couldn't even take a credit card into an MRI room. Yep. It would actually wipe the effing card, making it unusable. The list of restricted items is a lot bigger than I ever imagined. Still, I can't get into the room in the first place, so I should probably focus my attention elsewhere from now, for now. Oh, there's something right there. Time card. Time card for the recorder in the changing room. The owner's name is no longer visible, but maybe the recorder can still read it. A time card. I guess the member of hospital staff must have dropped this. Probably while leaving this room. Wish I knew who it was. Maybe then I could track them down so I could get inside. Door's locked up tight too. But there's a card reader here. Maybe I could get in with a proper ID card. But what are the chances of me finding something like that? I'm not that lucky. Bro, you survived Heavenly Host. You are one of the luckiest bastards. In this entire series. I shouldn't give up without at least having a thorough look around though. Let's see if I can hunt one down somewhere. Alright, we need to go into the employee changing room. Oh, there's guys in here. Okay. That time card. Time card re recorder. It's switched on, but it seems to be malfunctioning. It is not displaying the current time. It does still seem like it can accept cards, however. Insert the time card into the recorder. Watari, Friday, ENT. Up. Oh. We gotta start. Oh, okay. Never mind. ID card. Security card that grants access privileges to its owner can be used to unlock a specific door. I guess we gotta run back. Yeah, come on. He missed. All 
ID card. Doors locked up tight too. But there's a card reader here. Maybe I could get it inside with the proper ID card. Use the ID card. Oof. It reeks of disinfectant in here. I've never actually been in an operating room before. I've only seen them on TV. There's so much equipment. It's kind of impressive. I think I'll pass on spending any more time in here than I have to, though. If those guys have ID cards of their own, they might still be able to get in here. Is there any way I can put a stop... I can stop them from getting inside? Okay, from the looks of it... Yeah, this takes place after chapter one. Or maybe in between. Well, I've got a ton of Lyme notifications. I wonder who's who these are from. Ayuka ah, Naomi! Let's see. Tonight we're having Yuka special... Yakitori? Chicken meatball curry for dinner. Who puts chicken meatballs in curry? So I guess chicken and curry is pretty standard, so it's really not that weird. I've put some spring onions in too. They go perfectly with the chicken meatballs. Slicing them up really thick is what makes it tasty. Ex taste extra specially delicious. Haha, <laughs> okay, that's new. This is starting to sound less like curry rice and more like curry udon. She's got a real adventurous streak, that one. I just hope she quits while she's ahead and doesn't just keep jamming things in. Not that I'm ever going to find out if I can't get out of here. I saw what happened on the news. Are you okay? I'll say... They're at last, or at least covering this on the news, then. It says something about the hospital security going into lockdown and trapping everyone inside. Are you and Mom alright? I'm worried about you. We both are. The, the people on the outside just think this is happening due to the hospital security system malfunctioning. Guess I should call her. Huh? I can't get through. No service. But it was working fine just a second ago. They cut the lines. There goes my lifeline to the outside. So at least I can rest easy knowing that Naomi is safe and sound. I just wish I replied while I still had a signal. Hope she doesn't start frantically worrying about me or anything. Guess I might as well turn my phone off for now. I need to try to conserve the battery as much as possible. Emergency exit key. The text says this is for the emergency exit. Maybe with this I can actually get out of the building and down the fire escape to safety. Hmm. What is this? First that black puddle in the hallway and now this? What could have possibly happened in this hospital? Oh, there's somebody out here. So, I can't use the staircase either then. Seems I'm going to need to consider another route. Um... Ah, uh, hello. Who might you be? A lab coat. Is he one of the doctors here? Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry if I startled you. I work here. Dr. Seshiro Morishigi. Okay. I think, like, if I remember correctly, this is actually Morishigi's dad. Back in the first course party, I forget, like, his full name. Morishigi was that, like, creepy dude with the glasses. 
and like the darker blue hair who would actually take pictures of the corpses he was actually he was actually left behind in heavenly host so he's pretty much dead at this point at your service mass your name as well yeah but this is essentially his dad we're at shigi No way. Hang on, is there more to this effing chapter? Alright, we're back here. I imagine one of the endings is to get caught. We shall see. Huh? Who's that? Damn it. I have to try to slip past them. Stop right there. Give it up, kid. He must have been hiding somewhere. He might not be alone. We should search the area. Roger that. No, don't, please. Stupid kids, stay still, damn it. If they find mom, if they find mom, what's going to happen to her? Am I going to lose someone dear to me again? Oh, it's the classic wrong end thing. And there's the bloody handprint. Yeah, that was one of the endings, so... I need to look around and find the last one. What do I do? What if I hide... It's even smaller in here than I thought. If I move just a tiny spit, they're going to notice me for sure. Oh. And what is that smell? Too late to hide somewhere else now, though. This is awful. This might be funny. Everything seems quiet. I haven't noticed anything either. Only sound I've caught is the air conditioning kicking in. Hmm? What's that awful stench? It's like rotting meat. Ugh. I feel like I'm going to be smelling this for days. This definitely isn't the sort of thing you want to smell in a hospital. Oh, what the hell is it? Coming from in here. Aha! Thought you could hide from us, did you? God damn it. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not getting away that easily. Give it up. Don't make me use a tranquilizer on you. I can't believe I got caught already. There you go. Good boy. Hmm, what's that? There's something up on the top shelf in here. Dude, this is definitely where the smell's coming from. How'd this get in there? I better check to see what it is. Within the bundle he took from inside the locker was a newborn baby that's begun to- Oh no, that was not funny at all. No. Begun to decompose. What the fuck? 
Oh dear god, now that is nasty. Someone just wrapped the thing in a towel and left it here to die. Still all bloody. Looks like it's been dead for a f been dead a few days. It was probably here before this place even got locked down. The mother must have been a patient here or something. Or maybe even one of the doctors or nurses. Women can be real scary sometimes. Who's used to say it was the mother who dumped it. Besides, our job is just to capture the ones who are still moving. So just put the baby back. Doesn't concern us. If you say so. The armed man placed the bloody bundle back into the locker. I'm sorry, Mom. Was that the end? That last ending was fucked. What the? Who? Why? I have so many questions. Oh. But I guess that will do it for Course Party 2 Dead Patient. I don't know if they're gonna make another chapter for it or not. Cause this game came out in like 2018. It's been like a couple years now. I mean, they've been saying that they're going to be releasing new chapters for this game, but so far, given like how long it's been, I think they pretty much abandoned this game, but they are making that Court Party to, what was it, Darkness Distortion. Soon as that might be like continuation of the dead patient story, we'll see, but like all in all it did seem like an enjoyable game like really i hope they didn't abandon this the second game because it seems to be promising but if they did then that's actually very sad because this game it is very short but i'm hoping they didn't abandon it because there's just so much potential here. If they did, then that's disappointing. It's all hell. If you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. As always, and until next time, have a good day.